Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They are pointing at the monitor. B. They are looking at the document. C. They are talking on the phone. D. They are sitting by the table. Statement B. They are looking at the document. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The woman is talking on the phone. B. The woman is using her cell phone. C. The woman is typing on the laptop. D. The woman is writing in her notebook. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The woman is cooking some bacon. B. The woman is baking a cake. C. The woman is preparing for dinner. D. The woman is frying some fish. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The man is holding some seafood. B. The woman is baking a crab. C. They are scared of the crab. D. The family is shopping for breakfast. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The man is using a screwdriver to screw a nail into the building frame. B. The man is hammering something into a building frame. C. The man is making the frame with his hand. D. The man is wearing protective glasses. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. There are some tables and chairs outdoors. B. There are some people sitting at the tables. C. There are plastic umbrellas on the tables. D. There are many flowers in the garden. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. They are looking at each other. B. The woman is typing on a computer. C. The man is using the calculator. D. The man is writing something onto the notepad. Part two. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. 
They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Where was the company picnic held? A. In April. B. Refreshments will be provided. C. At a park next to a lake. Number eight. Who's working at the front desk today? A. That's a difficult request. B. It's Katie Miller. C. Make room on your desk. Number nine. Would you like to work together or separately? A. Actually, I prefer working alone. B. Let's gather the company's data. C. Before next Friday. Number ten. Have you introduced yourself to the new employee? A. A new reward system will be introduced soon. B. No, I've been too busy today. C. Nice to meet you. Number eleven. Where does this bus go to? A. You need a transit card. B. The bus stop is over there. C. It is headed downtown. Number twelve. The elevator has been repaired, right? A. She works on the third floor. B. Yes, it is working again. C. That's not what I saw. Number thirteen. What was the cost of replacing the window? A. I think it was less than sixty dollars. B. In a department store. C. It wasn't difficult at all. Number fourteen. Will you be checking your email tomorrow? A. Look at the attachment. B. Actually, I'll be on vacation. C. We accept cash or check. Number fifteen. Have you considered building a fence? A. The house is for sale. B. Yes, we're doing that next. C. His remarks caused offence. Number sixteen. Why did the subway stop running early tonight? A. Because it's a holiday. B. Let's get off at the next station. C. No, I won't be running tomorrow. Number seventeen. How was the museum tour? A. The window faces toward the street. B. Between William Street and Keller Avenue. C. It was very informative. Number eighteen. Why weren't the flies ready in time for the event? A. They're not frequent flyers. B. The copier malfunctioned. C. 
It was the company's 40th anniversary. Number 19. Who's speaking at tonight's opening ceremony? A. Front row seats. B. Mr. Gibson will close the door. C. A famous novelist. Number 20. When should I turn on the air conditioner? A. When it reaches 25 degrees. B. I agree with you. C. They'll be on air in about an hour. Number 21. Which seat is mine? A. Is a comfortable chair. B. Please sit anywhere. C. Keep that in mind. Number 22. I couldn't get a hold of George. A. Hold the line, please. B. Some empty boxes. C. Try calling back later. Number 23. Shouldn't our food have been served by now? A. It was delicious. B. Yes, the service is rather slow tonight. C. I'll order the tomato pasta. Number 24. Why don't we take a group picture? A. Sure, let's do it on the steps. B. A digital camera. C. Yes, she looks attractive in this picture. Number 25. This new coffee maker was very expensive. A. He has extensive management experience. B. There's a paper jam in the coffee machine. C. That's why the coffee tastes great. Number 26. Are you going out for dinner or staying in? A. I'm going to order delivery. B. Please bring the bill. C. At a convenient time. Number 27. Would you like to borrow this book when I finish reading it? A. Miss Watson will be leading the team. B. I'm going to book a table for dinner. C. No, I'll get it from the library. Number 28. Didn't you receive a paycheck? A. No, they are distributed next week. B. Sure, I'll send him an email. C. She wants to get the promotion. Number 29. You set up chairs in the conference room, didn't you? A. I need a reference book. B. Yes, 200 seats in total. C. No, I couldn't find the email address. Number 30. I was very impressed with Alex's singing. A. I forgot the singer's name. B. Where is the concert? C. Yes, he has a wonderful voice. Number 31. How about renting a larger space for the party? A. Is that really necessary? B. I return the equipment.
C. I'm not a tenant. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm Stephen from Home Appliance Mart. I'm here to install the UHD television that you ordered last week. Yes, come right this way. We would like to mount the television on this wall. We plan to use it for presentations and training seminars. Oh no, it looks like I forgot the tools that I need to screw the television to the wall mount. I'm sorry, I'll have to come back tomorrow morning. Oh, that's all right. However, please call me before you come tomorrow to make sure that someone is in the office to meet you. Number 32. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 33. What is the problem? Number 34. What most likely will the man do first tomorrow? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mr. Weaver. You are one of the final applicants that we are considering for the teaching position at Belmont University. How do you think your previous jobs have prepared you to teach at our university? Well, I used to be an editor-in-chief at a literary magazine. Therefore, I think it has prepared me well to teach in the English Literature Department at your university. I would be able to help students to become better writers. Well, I think you are right about that. You seem to be qualified for the position. As you may know, we don't pay a lot for this position. However, if you take a job with us, you would receive a lot of time off during the summer vacation. Actually, that's one of the reasons I chose this job. Number 35. What position is the man applying for? Number 36. What makes the man qualified for the position? Number 37. What extra benefit does the woman mention? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Chris, how are the renovations going in the dining room? Do you think we'll be ready to reopen by this Saturday? No, definitely not. The shipment of floor tar still hasn't arrived. Because the floor space is so large, it will take at least a week to finish the entire project. Ah, I see. Well, we have a lot of dinner reservations for the weekend. What should I do about that? Why don't you call everyone who already made a reservation and offer them a 20% discount on their next meal by way of compensation? Number 38. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 39. What does the man say about the dining room? Number 40. What does the man suggest the woman do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Linda. I'm responsible for putting together a slideshow for Greg's going-away party this Friday. However, I can't find many pictures. Do you happen to have any photos of Greg that you could send to me? What? Greg is leaving the company? I had no idea. 
Yeah, he's taking a job at a design company. He said the job is more suited to his skills. Oh, I'm happy for him. I have a few photos from last year's Christmas party. I'll find the ones with Greg in them and email them to you. Number 41. What is the man concerned about? Number 42. According to the man, why does Greg like his new job? Number 43. What most likely will the woman do next? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Joanne, did you hear that all employees will be receiving free tablet computers next week? I'm excited about it, but actually, I don't know how to use one. Even my mobile phone is not a smartphone. Don't worry about it. I have one at home and they are very user-friendly. You won't have any trouble familiarizing yourself with it. I'm glad to hear that. As a logo design company, we can definitely use tablet computers to increase work efficiency. You're right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me for help. Number 44. What is the man concerned about? Number 45. Where do the speakers work? Number 46. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'm conducting research on the effects that the new downtown mall is having on local residents' shopping habits. Do you have a moment to talk to me? Sure, no problem. I can tell you that since the mall was built, I find myself coming downtown a lot more. I think what I like most is that I never have to struggle to find a parking spot. I see. What about the variety of shops? Are you satisfied with that? Well, I usually come to the mall to shop for clothes. I think there is a wide selection of women's clothes. Number 47. Who most likely is the man? Number 48. What does the woman mention about the mall? Number 49. Why does the woman usually visit the mall? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Have you placed the order yet? Mr. Johnson just called and said he wants two more laptops and a 50-inch monitor. Well, I already placed the previous order, but the laptops and monitor will have to wait until tomorrow. The supply company closes at 8 p.m. Oh, will they be able to deliver to us on the same day? Mr. Johnson was hoping to get everything tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'll call them first thing in the morning and find out. Meanwhile, how much was the total for the order? It came to $12,500. Do we have enough in our budget for more laptops and a monitor? I'll call Mr. Johnson and ask. It looks like we've gone over our budget. Number 50. What are the speakers discussing? Number 51. Why does the man mention when the supply company closes? Number 52. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. 
Hi, Mr. Jeffries. Unfortunately, our client in New Jersey called and said they have to reschedule the meeting date to 5th of July. I went ahead and booked a ticket for the 4th. Is it OK if you go straight to Washington after New Jersey? What about the client in Washington? Were they comfortable with the schedule? Yes. I explained that we need to postpone the meeting in Washington because of our client in New Jersey. I think this gives us time to prepare some additional materials for your presentation. I would like to add some more details to your PowerPoint slides about our new products. Let's meet this afternoon and discuss it. That's not a bad idea. I'll see you this afternoon. Number 53. What is the problem? Number 54. Which part of the business trip will be postponed? Number 55. What does the man mean when he says, That's not a bad idea. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Rachel, how was your vacation in Australia? It was fantastic. It is a beautiful country, but we did not get to see everything we wanted to see. Maybe we will go back in the future. Have you managed to find a new account manager yet? We are starting to get busy and we need some more staff. Actually, there is someone we are looking to hire. His CV is quite impressive. Here, take a look. What's this? Is this Robert Wilder's application? I have known him for years. We play tennis together on the weekends. So you are thinking about hiring him? Yeah, the interview went really well and he has all the qualifications. I think he can be a great member of our team. I agree. I have never worked with him, but personally, I think he will be an excellent employee. I'm just surprised to see him applying here. Number 56. What was the woman doing in Australia? Number 57. What does the woman imply when she says, Is this Robert Wilder's application? Number 58. How does the woman know Robert Wilder? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Tom and Julie, I need the sales reports for this month ready a bit early. Next month is really important for our company, so we need to prepare a bit earlier than usual. Sure, but we will need to do some overtime. We are really busy at the moment, so it's going to be a lot of extra hours after work, and I have to take care of my children. Yeah, that's a lot of extra work. I think after next month, we should get a few days added to our vacation. That sounds reasonable. I will need to hire a babysitter while I'm doing the overtime, so the extra vacation time seems fair. I agree. Okay, we will discuss the details later, but I definitely agree with you. Number 59. What is the woman concerned about? Number 60. What does the man suggest? Number 61. What does the woman say she will have to do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hi, we are renovating our boardroom and I'd like to purchase some cherry wood tables for our conference room. I'm having a meeting with some very important clients on Friday, so I'd like to have them delivered tomorrow. What is the cost for an emergency delivery? Hold a moment, please. Next day delivery is an extra $75. Really? That is expensive. I thought if my order was over $300, delivery would be free of charge. Well, yes. Are you planning to order the cherry wood tables? Yes, I would like two of them. Okay, then. I will make sure that your order arrives tomorrow morning before midday and delivery will be free of charge.
Number 62. What does the woman have on Friday? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much does the woman pay for the furniture? Number 64. What does the man say he will do? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hi, this is Rachel. I'm calling to see if I can upgrade from coach to business for my flight to Thailand this June. Okay, can I have your membership number, please? Yes, it's EM3985771. I'm sorry, you don't have enough points for this trip. However, I see that you're traveling to Korea and Japan next week. That should give you enough points to upgrade in June. Why don't you call again after your trip? Okay, that's a great idea. I'll call again in two weeks. Number 65. Why does the woman call? Number 66. Look at the graphic. How many points will the woman use? Number 67. What suggestion does the man give the woman? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. You beat me again. You always get to work before I do, even though I leave before you. How do you do that? Which road do you take? I just follow my GPS and it shows that Kingsley Road is the most direct route to work. No, don't follow your GPS. Your route passes through several residential areas and school zones, as well as traffic signs, so it takes much longer to get here. Which route do you take then? I go to Cambridge Street, which takes a bit of a detour from our apartments, but it's practically a highway. I even have enough time to stop for some coffee before work. Wow, I always thought Cambridge would take much longer. No, it's really quick. I can show you next time. Number 68. What are the speakers discussing? Number 69. What does the woman want to do? Number 70. Look at the list. Which shop does the man most likely stop at? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question. And mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following instructions Amy, it is your responsibility to check that the store is clean and well stocked for customers before we open for the day. Most importantly, I would like you to make sure that the proper price tags are displayed in front of their corresponding products. Customers get really confused and upset when the price of a product is displayed incorrectly. In the case that a customer ever does get displeased, please let me know right away so I can come and deal with the problem in person. Number 71. Where most likely does the speaker work? Number 72. What is the listener asked to double check? Number 73. When should the listener contact the speaker?
Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. The town of Dayton is excited to announce the opening of a new community center. The center provides daytime activities for kids and adults of all ages. For the grand opening, the local band Summer Heat, led by Jim Nielsen, will perform a show in half an hour. Afterwards, attendees are encouraged to fill out a survey meant to judge the needs of local citizens. Thank you. Number 74. What is the announcement about? Number 75. Who is Jim Nielsen? Number 76. What are attendees asked to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a test screening of our pilot for a new daytime sitcom entitled Once Upon a Romance. Your participation in this focus group is essential for assessing audience reception. This television show is meant to appeal to middle-aged housewives, and that is why you have all been selected. After watching the pilot, we will take you to a meeting room where we will conduct an in-depth interview that will help us gather your feedback and responses. Thank you again for your cooperation. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. Who are the listeners? Number 79. What will the listeners do in a meeting room? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following radio broadcast. This is a reminder that legendary soccer player Tommy Durant will be signing autographs at Dave's Sports Shop at 1 p.m. tomorrow. You are encouraged to bring your own items, such as clothes or books, for Mr. Durant to autograph. Also at this time, parents will be able to sign their children up for a summer soccer camp that will be run by Tommy Durant. The camp is limited to 20 children, so anyone who is interested should sign up early. Number 80. What is the purpose of the broadcast? Number 81. What does the speaker suggest doing? Number 82. What does the speaker say about the summer camp? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following introduction. As I am sure everyone is aware, we have recently merged with another company that is located in India. Now that we have become an international cooperation, we will be sending a lot of our most vital data through unsecure email systems. According to the IT department, this is unavoidable. Unfortunately, this means we have to be very careful with what data we send through email. This afternoon, everyone must attend a seminar explaining the new procedures for what data can be sent via email. The rest will be sent using secure email. If you don't come to the meeting then, I will have to explain the same thing over and over again and my schedule is too tight to do that. So, everyone should come to the first floor meeting room at 2.30pm. Number 83. What does the speaker mention about her company? Number 84. Why does the woman say, My schedule is too tight to do that. Number 85. What will they be sending a lot of? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following speech. First of all, 
I'd like to thank everyone for attending the annual Bob Schilling Short Theater Festival. I'm sure you have all enjoyed the performances so far. The actors have put in many nights of rehearsal to bring you some excellent performances. Next up is the Bromley Actors Guild, and they will be doing Shakespeare's play, The Tempest. This is a play that is focused on the themes of magic and illusion. Remember, last year the Bromley Actors Guild won first place at this event, so you should look forward to seeing them perform this wonderful play. After the play finishes, we will have question and answer time, and you can get to know some of the members of the guild on a personal level. Number 86. What is The Tempest about? Number 87. Why does the speaker say, Remember, last year the Bromley Actors Guild won first place at this event. Number 88. What will most likely happen after the film screening? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. I'm sure you are all aware that the new line of cell phone cases and selfie sticks we released are selling very well. For some reason, though, our range of portable batteries are selling quite poorly. I wonder if the cost is too high compared to the other products on the market. We need to develop a strategy to start selling more batteries, so I've consulted with a marketing specialist in regard to changing our prices. This afternoon we will have a conference call with them, so please come to my office after lunch and sit in on the discussion. Number 89. What type of products are being discussed? Number 90. Why does the speaker say, I wonder if the cost is too high compared to the other products on the market? Number 91. What will the listeners most likely do after lunch? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message and order form. Hi, Susan. I'm calling about the office furniture we delivered to Harmons and Sons recently. They said their first floor looks really good, but they are going to need 20 chairs and 12 whiteboards for their boardrooms upstairs. They recently merged with another company, so I think they will have a lot more staff in their building soon. Make sure you check what we have in the warehouse. If we are missing anything, we need to order it today. Also, before you send the order, please have me sign off on it. As the manager, I need to sign all outgoing orders before they leave the office. Please let me know when you have the order prepared. Number 92. Look at the graphic. Which items need to be ordered? Number 93. What does the speaker anticipate about the company? Number 94. What does the listener ask to do before making any orders? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and graph. Okay, everybody, thank you for coming in. I received the statistics for this year's software market shares. Although we are still in the top four companies, we need to work harder. Slightline Incorporated has just moved past us by 3% one year. We were much bigger than them last year. Analysts are suggesting that Slightline's success is because they give away a lot of free software updates after people buy their games. In the next quarter, we are going to begin to offer all of our expansion packs for free download. I think this can give us the edge we need and help us get back about Slightline Incorporated. Number 95. Which industry does the speaker work in?
Number 96. Look at the graphic. What company does the speaker work for? Number 97. According to the speaker, what will the company do in the next quarter? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt and chart from a meeting. Hello everyone. Welcome to your first day at Valencia's Culinary Training Center. Your ability to combine cooking skills with health and safety procedures will be crucial for your future career. Here's our training schedule for the next four days. Today, we will work on basic knife skills and food preparation. This is an essential first step in becoming a skilled chef. For the rest of the week, each day, we'll have a different theme relating to the most important aspects of working in a kitchen. We have some celebrity chefs coming in who are highly skilled and I am sure you will enjoy working with them. One more thing to remember is we will have a special team lunch on Wednesday that will be prepared by everyone together. Number 98. What are the listeners training to be? Number 99. According to the speaker, what will the listeners enjoy doing? Number 100. Look at the graphic. On what day will the listeners learn food safety and hygiene? This is the end of the listening test.